Hello everyone, today I'm introducing our newly uh, released 200 liters Star Series brew house system. This new set is very popular on the market. Okay, later I'm introducing the details one by one. This is a control system, uh, we call it PID control, very easy to operate. So I'm introducing the uh, functions one by one. So these three meter is uh, for the hot water, water tank and also the mesh tank. So different tank also have its own temperature showing uh, the meter. So uh, on the bottom is the pump, uh, the water heater, menu and auto uh, switch. And this one is for the hot water pump. This one is a rims heating. So that means you can do the multiple uh, temperature within um, this process when the machine process, okay. So this one is a kettle heat. So that means inside of the kettle, tank there is a heating elements so you can control it's on and off and also uh, on and off controlled by menu and all two different mode so in the middle is a VFD device so this one is for the Riker knife that means this motor inside of the uh, this town have a Riker system later I can show you the details and this one is the water pump so this pump is for the transferring of the watt uh, between different tanks. So also this one is a speed control. Uh, you can adjust the speed according to different uh, process. Others we have installed two Buddha. So this one we call it the level sensor. So level sensor that means inside uh, of the tank, if you install the, uh, the heating elements, so you will need to make sure it's working without dry burning. So that one is just on the top level of the heating element. So when there is no liquid inside of the tank, so the boozer will alarm. So you, when you hear the alarm, so that means the water is not exist the uh, level of the heating elements. It's a kind of a protection. Okay, so uh, we have two alarm in one is in hot water tank and an another one is in kettle tank. Okay, let's have a detailed look at this tank. This is a lot of tank. So that means after machine process, you will have the wort coming into this tank uh, during the filtration process. So this one is the Vinesto and this green shoot. Inside, now we have water inside for the testing. So I can't open it for your reference. So later we can uh, have a look on the top side. So this one is a backflow pipeline. Uh, when you do the backflow process, you can see the wort through this side glass and also taking sample from this sample web okay let's have a look inside okay with this small platform it's very easy to operate different tanks and uh, this time let's have a look at this tank so the top lid is manual open type very easy to monitor inside and uh, uh, so on the top side is the motor so that means the green beaker later I will show you the details okay now we open the green beaker so it will start working, you can hear the sound and also we can start the word pump. So th then the word uh, will come from this side glass. Okay, it's working. Okay, water is coming. So now you can hear the water is a circulation. So this process is we are uh, simulating the process of backflow before the lottery process from the lottery tank to the cattle tank. So. On my right side, this one is the kettle whirlpool tank. So we can say inside there is also a heating elements and uh, the uh, second outlet device. And also this one is a whirlpool inlet. So when the wort is coming out from the bottom and coming into this pot, so the wort will uh, generate a whirlpool uh, process. And then uh, that's the last step before you knocking out the wort. So this tank is very easy, but the function is very important for you to control the boiling process and also the vapor effect. Okay, on back side of me, this one is a hot water tank. So the hot water is a very uh, important one for your brew day. So every time before you brew your beer, so this one, the hot water tank will start to work beforehand. So for the inside of this tank, also a heating element. For this 200 liter system, we installed uh, 12 kilowatt, the heating element. It will be able to heat up the temperature uh, one degree Celsius per uh, minute. Okay, this tank is very easy and we can look at the other details. Okay, for the knocking out process, 
there must be a heat exchanger. Uh, we also um, combine the heat exchanger and the, the frame. It's very easy for you to operate. So uh, let me introduce the knocking out device. Um, this one is the hops filter. It's uh, just before the heat exchanger. And also after the word coming out, going through the heat exchanger and then it's the step to go into the heat exchanger. So we can see at this side. Okay, for this uh, exchanger, we call it a double stage. So that means uh, you will have the word and uh, the glycol water and also the tap water to go through the heat exchanger together to have the temperature coming down from uh, around 90, uh, for example, 98 degrees Celsius down to a uh, uh, preferable uh, temperature such as uh, 20 degrees Celsius. So for this system, we have a uh, two square meter uh, heat exchanger. It can enable to uh, have the temperature coming down within 30 minutes, very high efficiency. So after the word coming out, you will uh, have one. Firstly, we have a uh, uh, summer meter, so you can monitor the temperature, whether it is uh, suitable to add your uh, yeast into your fermenter. And also coming out, this one is the oxygenation device. You can uh, add the oxygen into the word together before it's going to your fermenter. Hello again, so this side is a 200 liters fermentation tank. So for this system, we total have five sets, 200 liters fermenter and coming with a glycol water tank. So this tank uh, will uh, see, uh, store the glycol water and it will be chilled by the chiller. So uh, uh, underneath here is a glycol water tank. A uh, glycol water pump. So this pump will be in charge of the duty to supply the glycol water into the fermentation tank, uh, the cooling jacket, and also coming all the way into the heat exchanger during the knocking out process. So that is the key to supply the cooling source to knocking down to uh, uh, cooling, cold crash the wort from uh, boiling temperature down to 20 degrees or even lower. So this tank is very important. If you are prefer to get a high efficiency brew day, so the glycol water tank is very important. And also uh, another one is the chiller. Okay, when you uh, have any questions, our sales representative can give you some more uh, advice. So uh, let's have a look at the fermentation tank. So this tank is coming with a top man hole and uh, its effective volume is 200 liters. So that means you have an extra 20% head space during the fermentation process and the uh, effect nominal uh, beer you can harvest is uh, at least 200 liters. Okay, so we have all the assemble, the fittings coming together with your fermenter. So you don't have to worry about I'm, uh, I'm uh, purchasing what kind of equipment is with or without fittings. So all our system is coming with everything you need to for the brew day. Okay, this one is a sample bath. You can take in sample by this, um, this pot. And this one is a carbonation uh, pot. So inside I can show you so this one is a very uh, simple for you to increase the fizzy effect inside of your beer before uh, kegging or canning. So this one is carbonation stone. It can have the CO2 generated through this pot and into your beer to help the dissolution uh, degree of the CO2 into your beer. It's very important and easy. Okay, besides, this one is a pressure gauge. This one is a spawning valve. The spawning valve it will help you to release the pressure during the uh, fermentation process and also uh, after the cold crash uh, process to keep the pressure as you want. As you can see, we have installed a level tube here. So this one can help you to monitor how many liters of beer you have inside of the tank. So we have the bowl valve underneath. It can help you to stop the level when you don't want to have the, the trap coming out and then open the valve uh, when you wanted to see the levels. And also we have added a sticker here so you can see the how many liters very easy. Okay, thanks for your watching. So this is all the details about the 200 liter system. Uh, it's very easy for you to operate with all the details uh, because we supply the 10K solution. So uh, what you need is what we are good at. 
Okay, uh, so if you have any ideas and uh, or any queries, please don't hesitate to send us a message um, online, uh, on WhatsApp and uh, by email. Also, you can search on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. We all of the, uh, our sales representative is very active online as well. Okay, uh, so thanks for your watching. Thanks for your subscribe and see you next time. Bye.